Hi, Steve Phillips, Newburgh Public Schools, and today I have uh, one of our board members with us, Shelly Kolb. And uh, at our most recent board meeting, I believe it was March 11th, the board approved a set of board goals. And, uh, you know, we talked about them briefly at the board meeting, but uh, I think there's a lot of people that don't watch our board meetings. And uh, there, we've got a decent following watching these uh, superintendent videos, so we thought we would take a little time, and Shelly volunteered, uh, take a little time to cover these board goals for the community. So um, thanks, Shelly, for being here and helping out with this. Um, the first one is to improve student achievement. And it's, it's uh, I think that's a fundamental goal. It should be a fundamental goal of every school district. Uh, student achievement specifically in mathematics, reading, and writing. Uh, that is our main goal. We have a lot of priorities that kind of funnel into that goal and help us achieve that. But the main goal is student achievement, mathematics, reading, and writing. Do you have anything to add to that, Shelley? Um, just that's so important because if you can't, uh, if, if you don't have good math skills or reading, you really can't do much of anything else. So that's why we we've separated this and put it high on top. It's our main goal, and everything else will tie into that. Yeah. So the, everything else is kind of a board priority is how we, how we listed them. So the first board priority is to provide a safe and optimal learning environment. Um, you know, uh, safety is a big feature. Uh, it was a big feature of the bond. A lot of our buildings got new entrances for safety. Um, also in our budget for next school year, we're going to bring in another SRO um, to help with school safety. Uh, it's, it's a big it's a big proponent, or it's a big part of schools. Uh, our families, our moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas, they should know that their kids are safe when they come to school. And that, that's a school resource officer for the, <laughs> those of you not familiar with that term. Um, the other, the next one is encourage parental and community involvement. And parent involvement is essential. And so we want to encourage more of that. We want to listen to our parents. We appreciate their input. And we know that kids do better with parental involvement and even the teachers like it. it, it tends to lift them up as well. Yeah, and I'll just add one thing. When I, when I taught, I always felt that um, the best educational results came when, when education was seen kind of as a triangle, with one point being the student, one point being the staff or the teacher, and one point being the family. And if, we, if we're all working together, uh, we'll have optimal results. And then quality educators, so important. And we had a lot of um, teachers leave at the beginning of the school year and that's not good but in kind a lot of teachers came here and so we picked up a lot of great teachers so we're uh, we're, we're gathering we're, we're still hiring great teachers and then we're having the training yeah so Jillian and her team um, in our teaching and learning department and Tony and his team in our SPED department, they've already put on trainings this year and they've got a lot of trainings planned for the future. Just uh, more professional development than's happened in the past. And that's what our teachers need. That's what our, not just our teachers, but our instructional assistants as well. They need good quality professional development. Next one, manage budget effectively. And that is so important, we can't do anything with, without money. <laughs> So we have um, hired um, uh, Heather Bix Bixley, and Bixby. Bixby, sorry, and, and she is magnificent. She went through and she found problems with the reporting from the past. She's helped correct them, and we are to the point where we probably will end up with a surplus. So, so that's but it's important. We're we're going to stay on the budget and make sure that that we have money for the kids and, and everything that's important. That's great, and the next one is the bond. Uh, this community was um, gracious enough to pass a bond a couple years ago, and um, we're in the middle of that now. Um, we just had a report uh, by Cornerstone and Larry Hampton not too long ago talking about the bond. We're on track, we're on budget, we're on time. The bond's going really well. Um, this fall, the big CTE building will open up at the high school, and uh, this fall, the, the uh, Dundee Elementary construction will will start as well. Next one is support extracurricular activities. Um, I'm especially um, uh, excited about about ke keeping these, growing them. I started out, my first career was as a symphony musician, and I got my start 
in school. I carried my drumsticks, I was a percussionist, carried them every day. It's why I got up in the morning. It taught me teamwork and it was it was so important. And I want the other kids, I want your kids, I want I want the kids to be able to have sports, to have art, to have music, to have drama. So we want to keep supporting that and it, it teaches them teamwork and also they do better in education uh, when they have cr uh, better curricular activities when uh, we, we found through studies. You know, the next one is, it might be a little bit unique to Newburgh, is um, provide reliable transportation. We've kind of had a rough go this year with our transportation company and um, we had to let them go early and uh, bring in another transportation company to help them out. And so if we can't get kids here on time and we can't get kids here on a regular basis, then obviously we can't. Uh, we can't really educate them. So transportation is a big deal for us for 23, 24. And finally, um, support career technical education and vocational training. This is important even for kids who want to go to college. If they can learn skills, everyday skills, practical skills, they're going to do better in life, period, no matter which path they choose. And so we want to, we want to increase internships. We want to increase career paths. We want to uh, teach practical skills and it gets the kids more involved. They love it. So that's something we strongly support. Yeah, kids that focus on career and tech ed, they uh, graduate at a higher rate than kids who don't. Uh, kids that focus on career and tech ed, they also have higher math scores, reading and writing scores. And so um, it, it's, it's a win-win and it's what this community wants. Like I said before, they passed the bond and the bond, a big part of that bond was career and tech ed. Um, the last thing I would say is I just appreciate the board. I appreciate them putting this on paper and at a public board meeting um, voting on it. Uh, once it's voted on, there's a level of accountability that, that I believe they'll hold themselves accountable, they'll hold me accountable, and I'll hold the administration accountable. These are great goals, and, and as I said before, they're, all pr they're, all, they're great priorities. They all funnel into uh, better st student achievement, and that's important. Great. Thank you. Thank you.